Welcome to the Bear Panther Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. All right, guys. So this is gorgeous, so I want to keep this in the picture, but then I don't want to get rid of this either. What am I going to do? Joshua, dive in, baby. Okay. Put this here. So I have pasta salad. I've got Salisbury steak champignon. I don't know if that's the name. I call it that all the time because when I used to be on Jenny Craig back in 1987, I think. I didn't um, exist yet. Yeah, she would have Salisbury steak champignon. Okay? So, tell me if anything's blocking, guys. Yeah, this thing's blocking my food, like what Joshua said. This is all very sick, just ground beef mushed together. You guys like to see this? Yeah, it is. And this is how we serve salad over here with your hand. I have a small plate because... Come on, get in there. Come on, you know, guys, I'm going to get rid of this. What do you think, Josh? I would. That is so in the way. Daddy, right. can you come move the dessert? How y'all doing? I'm using one of my birthday gifts from Sandra. It's the tripod for the dinner table. And not the one I gave her. What did you give me? The battery. You didn't give me no tripod. The battery. Oh, the battery is fully loaded though. Thank you, honey bunch. You guys see this now? I don't know why I want you guys to see the vegetable. Just the rest of vegetables. I think it's because, you know, well, nobody ever tells us anything about our mukbang that is unhealthy and stuff like that. Because it's only diehard fans that watch this. But um, there's other YouTubers mm. that I love with them telling all kinds of things. Mm. You're fat. Are you eating a whole watermelon? I don't really love watermelon. Okay. Joey's telling me about a gift that came for me. Mm hmm. It's really big. Mm hmm. I guess because it's day hot, I'm really craving the vegetables. Mm. I'm give you paper, though. Seriously, they're hot enough for you guys? Jeez. Mm. We're in California, Southern California, because I think Northern is cooler. And we've been having 109 every day. Don't make you lose your mind. Mm. Joy said, and some people don't live in global warming. They don't live in California. Mmm. I don't have the viewers like, California ain't nothing, come here. Hmm? Yeah. I don't have the videos going, California he ain't nothing, come here. We had to close up the blinds and the curtains. We had to open these blinds here to do the mukbang. Because even though we have these beautiful lights, we still need some daylight coming in. So no, that means no nighttime up then. <laughs> so this pasta salad is in the book. And it might be on the book cover if it came out good. Joshua's gonna be the judge. Mm-hmm. We're talking about taste? Hmm? We're talking about good as in taste? No, look. Oh okay. Josh, what all do you have? Uh, leftover ribs from your birthday, pork ribs. Mm -hmm. I took the steak and put it in the burger to make a burger. The Salisbury steak? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Some fries and uh, a cold salad. And the, the fries were air fried, mm -hmm. right? I like the air fried fries, but the ones from the bag, not the fries we make. No, nah, it doesn't work fried good. Make, yeah. And I love these tomatoes, all color. Did you all see that? No, I tried to go do it in slow mo again. It popped all the way up. Mm. Mm -hmm. I love mushrooms, but only when they come cut like this. I don't want to have to clean them big mushrooms and those shiitake ones or whatever. I don't want to do none of that. They creep me out. Don't forget to clip that. <laughs> mm? Who said I love mushrooms? <laughs> like the drug? <laughs> so Josh, what's going on out there in the world today, babe? I don't know, I locked myself in my workstation. Well 
Let me talk about YouTubers that I'm watching right now. Go for it. I'm watching um, Jason McIlhone. I think that's the way you say his last name. He tells us how to get these grants and loans and stuff from the SBA. And I think once everything simmers down, he's going to teach you like how to invest money because I think that's what he did. He invested a lot of money back in the 80s and 90s and he became a millionaire and then he lost it all due to something or something. Huh. I don't know the whole backstory, but he's he's sharp. I like him. Yeah, that would suck to have it all and lose it like that. Mm -hmm. And his mom passed away the same year. Mommy passed away. I think his mom had an aneurysm, so it was rather sudden. Oof. He's 50 years old. He cusses a lot of bad words on his show. I love it. That's why I love it. It's like it's refreshing. Mm. He doesn't have any ads running. He started his channel like in March. You actually can't cuss anymore on YouTube. Mm -hmm. If you're young and watching this, in a long, long ago, YouTube used to be the wild, wild west, and not this whole kitty family love joy thing. Mm -hmm. Um. He refuses to monetize his channel. Well, maybe he already monetized, but don't turn on the ads mm -hmm. until uh, everybody gets their grant and their loans. Mm. So he went from zero to almost 40,000 since March. Mm. His videos have like 10 to 100,000 views. I promise you he's living a good 4K on the table. But he made that vow and he's going to keep it. I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got one. Mm -hmm. I usually go to the, the park to do my runs. When I got there, big old family of people by the table eating outside, just at that nasty park mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was like, really? Really, guys? The Salisbury steak's not going to be in the book. Nah. I don't think I'm good enough at it yet. It's going to be in a future book. The book will only have recipes that I know that I'm good at. Believe me, we ran those recipes a couple times. Mm -hmm. In fact, we barely perfected the white cake. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, buy the barcode today mm -hmm. because the book, the book covers pretty much. Yeah. Even if I have to redo a couple of the pictures for it, I pretty much know what I want for the, the layout, cover. The layout's mm -hmm. done. Yeah, yeah, that's good. No, the pictures will go to jewelry. I did eight pictures for the inside of the book. One of them was an ice cream sundae that you saw. Because we make from scratch ice cream, right? Try to do that on 109. F, Ugh. Fahrenheit. Mm. What did we get? We got something we put in a car and it was like melted already. We just we got one. Ice. No. I went to go buy ice and melt up. Yesterday, we got a chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. As soon as we came home, just goop. It's so good. The salad is so good. Mm. Too bad it's like annoying prep to it, but ooh, I don't have good. bloating anymore in my stomach. Okay. All this week I never got any bloating. And it's because I've been eating this veggie pasta and ginger snap cookies. One ginger snap for the day, but you have to make the one I make. Don't go buy the one from the store. Loaded yeah. molasses and ginger. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's the only thing I did different. Yeah. No? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't hate pork ribs, but they don't, they don't have anything on beef ribs. The only pork I eat is bacon and ham. What about um, chicharron? Um, That's pork. That's the skin. I don't like pork chop, pork shoulder, pork butt, pork, pork foot, pork, pork nose. Butt. Which one did we have? Pork shoulder? That was awful. It smelled rank. That was pork butt. <laughs> this is shoulder nasty. So, the other YouTuber that I've been watching is Cosmic Carry Trash Can. She mock bangs. I just like to listen to the conversation. I put it on and I fall asleep. I'm still watching Mike Malloy for politics. Uh. I'm watching Reese's Life. 
She's a reactor, mm -hmm. and she reacts to the vloggers. Most of the stuff I watch is uh, entertainment, keeping up with that, like Disney, how they're doing so badly and all that. Mm -hmm. Not too fond of the mouse right now. Mm -hmm. The mouse? Disney. Mm. Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. I like the onion and the mushroom off of this saddler stick. Just came off the bone. Joe's beef rib is in the book. The book has 111 recipes, like I said. Should have kept it at 101 and we could have like a Dalmatian on the front cover with you. <laughs> I had that before on the first Billy's book. Mm. The one that no one should buy. Mm -hmm. Do not buy it. I, I was watching that Belize guy that has the radio station over here in California. And he was talking. It was right at the end though, so I know I missed a lot of it. He was talking about people, I guess, in Belize. And so someone in the room said that happens over here too in California. How they're having parties still in the middle of this stuff. We got people going. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if they just chilled out, did this for a couple months... When you fire, you can come out to party as much as you want with no mm -hmm. problems. Mm -hmm. I don't ever get people who are just like, oh, the solution's right there, but I won't do the solution, you know? Mm -hmm. It's because people are too privileged. Tell me about it. They don't come from a poor life. You know? Mm -hmm. None of this will hit them unless a family member of theirs gets hit. Mm -hmm. The guy was like, he had a green screen and he had a beach behind him, mm -hmm. like a video. And he says, you see this beach behind me? It's going to be there. In two to three years, it's still going to be there. Exactly. I mean, I, I'm sorry I couldn't go to the beach for my birthday because I've been doing that for five years, but I'm going. You want to see another birthday? Mm-hmm. That live event was awesome. Oh, a lot of people went to go watch that. It has over 109 views. I don't even get 109 views when I used to put stuff on that channel. We're taping this on Sunday the 16th of August. Shout out to my cousin Rosalie. Happy birthday. It's her birthday today. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. We got you that cool knife. You got it? I have a cool knife. The big butcher's knife? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you gotta be careful, you shot, bud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this might make me a little weird, but. I love knives. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's watching something on Netflix. Cowboys. It's not really cowboys. It's um. I guess back in the day when they were building the railroad. That was like cowboys to me. Well, it's back in them days. They didn't mm. have cars and stuff. Um. So it's not just regular. Let's ride them up and kill them. Mm. They were building the railroad. And it was the Mormons. They had a company, and then some white people, I don't know if they're Irish or what, had a company. And they were like competing. Mm. They were building it together, but also competing, because they were building different stretches of it. Mm -hmm. But they were talking about Brigham Young. He's the head of the Mormon church or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, in this series, his son kills him. Oh. So I told you I have to go look that up. I don't think that's how he died. I don't know. But and I know my aunt Kathy, the one that passed away recently, used to tell me that there's like blood steeped in the ground in Utah of the savage things that they did to the natives. Hmm. The Mormons did to the natives. I'm like, really? I gotta go read the history. And she was telling us some of it in the different cities and it goes, oh God, it was savage. So there's a lot of savagery in this movie. But also a lot of smart women in this movie. It's a movie? I thought it was a show. Well, I don't say movie, but it's a whole series. Uh. It probably has 6,800 videos. <laughs> Short episodes. Is every episode an hour? About. Well, 40 something minutes. Because there's no commercial? Yeah. 
But technically, that's an hour of commercials. Mm hmm. But I can see why if he watches one episode after the next. Because they leave you hanging. Mm. And one episode is done, okay, okay, what, what happened next? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you how much I hate cliffhangers. Like the season finales, I hate it when they do this. Mm. It's like, man, I don't want to watch your show anymore. I hate those too. If the worst? Go ahead. If mm -hmm. your show's good enough, I'm going to keep watching. I don't need to end on a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. The worst um, cliffhanger they ever did was from Blue Bloods one season. <laughs> they ended with everybody alive. And when they started up, somebody was dead out of the family. Danny's wife. I was so pissed I stopped watching that whole next season. That wasn't a cliffhanger? I don't know what that was. They killed her off over the summer when they were on hiatus. How is that fair to us? I'm so mad. Cliffhanger would have been, somebody got shot, you don't know who, final next season, Danny's wife. They were so wrong. Why they, what, did the actress want to leave? That's what they said, but I don't know about the story. Mm -hmm. I'm still pissed. Which one was it? Ghost Whisperer? They kill off a husband everybody's like, I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I stopped watching it too. They put him in another person's body where when she sees that person, she sees the husband. But, it's, but when everybody else sees him, it's not you see same. that person, that other person was ugly. It's not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you see how we get invested, right? <laughs> it's TV. You want to look at good looking people, alright? Uh, mm. Man, he is really trying to catch up. Genius little spread. Mm-hmm. <coughs> it tastes like Toast Island. Ooh, water went down the wrong too. Josh, it tastes like Toast Island. This is a, uh, this is what they do for the in and out spread. Mm -hmm. It's essentially that. I'm sure there's a few other things in there, but that's like the base. Mm-hmm. And then you add your own little tweaks. <coughs> mm-hmm. Ooh, this didn't go down too bad. You know, in and out got like 11 different type of onions. Yeah. We don't need all that. Pair of all my onions. Normal onion, purple onion. That's all the onions I know. No. <laughs> no we didn't cook it. Oh, okay. Like this right here? I could eat this because they just soaked it in vinegar, vinegar. and water. That kills it a little bit so mm -hmm. you can um, enjoy it more. Because like hot and make your bread smell bad. Eating an onion straight up. There's some crazy people who do that though. Just mm, onion straight up. Now, to make the meal healthy. Now it's healthy. Joshua, uh, Joshua didn't eat, have no breakfast, no lunch, no nothing, so he could do this mukbang with me. No. Man, I didn't do my push-ups. I hate doing push-ups on a full stomach. You're becoming a true mukbang. Mm -hmm. Do you eat one meal a day? I'm very low. I was doing that before we mukbang anyway. Mm-hmm. Another YouTuber I've been watching. Mm-hmm. I remember them as I go along. Live life. Mm. I thought I said it already because I said Reese's life. But Reese <coughs> reacts on them. I haven't been watching long enough to really be invested in her. But I like the little house she bought. She bought a cute little house. Well, a tiny home? No, it's not tiny, but it's a small house. Okay. But it's house? like three bedrooms. What's the times when these YouTubers buy a house? It's a mansion. No, she's stepping up. She said she had to clean up her credit, stuff like that. It's mm. a cute house. That's three bedrooms. But if people want to tell her that she shouldn't put her son in the room with her two daughters because the house got three bedrooms, so give the son his own room, put the two daughters in one room. I'm like, how oh, people gonna dictate your own house? The little baby five, Joshua, just turned five, and he's one of these five years old that don't want to be in his own room, want to come back in mommy bed all the time. Mm -hmm. Next, the baby six, the girl, and the other one two, and it's like, just leave the girl, let her do what she want to do in her own house. Just watch. Is she one of those vloggers where they're like, look at my kids. Kids. Well, she, her kids are a part of it. Mm. But it's like, I don't know why they think kids want their own room at five. You didn't want your own room at five. You used to go bunk out in Jory's room. Remember when we moved here? Did I? Yeah, Jory wanted his own room at three. But Joshua wasn't ready. But then Joshua was ready for school and Jory wasn't ready for school. Weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could deal with kids, having kids, and going back to school, figuring and out their dad doesn't know math. <laughs> Jory's one of those kids that used to pick up the books and throw it away. 
Just pick up a what? Bugs. Oh, I throw them in the trash. <laughs> Josh was still afraid of bugs. I hate bugs. There's there's a few exceptions that I don't hate. Mm -hmm. Butterflies, obviously. Um, don't like ladybugs. They're disgusting when you look at them close. <laughs> I love praying mantises though, because they don't look like bugs. They look like little alien creatures running around. So I don't get creeped out because they look like little aliens. Mm -hmm. and some beetles are cool. That's about it. Not the stupid flying ones. Like the not the mm. stupid flying beetles that keep crashing into the back of my neck when I'm trying to run. That happens so many times. Just bam. Daddy, uh, can you come get us a cookie each? I do not want any cookies. I'm I want to show them. Okay. Daddy, please. <clears throat> one old meal. One um. Do you snap on one of the other one? I just want to show them. Thank was, you, honey. If it was chocolate chip cookies, yeah. I'd it's 20 that. minutes right now. One of each, baby. So the thing that was sitting here was from the chapter that's called um, Muffins and Cookies. Okay. Now, if I can cut away to anything, I'll cut away. Thank you, honey. Maybe I'll try the peanut butter. If one. not, that did smell good. you're going to see it at the end because sometimes I could cut away in editing the mukbang. So take a look. This is our ginger snap. You see it? It's best to get them when they're fresh out because oh. they're nice and soft. Look at those cracks though. I love ginger stuff when you have the cracks. Oatmeal, raisin, craisin, white chocolate. Healthy. <laughs> it has craisins and raisins. It it's has healthy. like one cup of flour to two cup of sugar. It's hella healthy. <laughs> I've learned a trick to this because like I said before that there was a lot of daylight showing through the bottom when I used to just drop them. Now I set them in the fridge for like 15 to 20 minutes, roll them and then press them down. This one, the book. it's in the book. That's why you gotta get the book. This one is peanut butter, and it has it's a chunky peanut butter, so it has nuts in it. And then you take the fork and go one direction and go the next direction, and you and these are tic tac toe cookies. I'm gonna call them labyrinth cookies. No, like these labyrinth. um, Ugh. these have a secret ingredient that I will not tell you. Not many people I'm know this, but you can put you your, what it is. You can put you know what's in these. It's know. a weird secret ingredient. Four twenty. It's a weird secret ingredient. <laughs> Let me get a piece of this. So you guys have to buy the book to find out what the secret ingredient is. You guys, seriously though, I have to turn the book in by August 31st to get the discount of 50 cents off of each book. And also for them to guarantee that they're going to have it ready by Thanksgiving, which I feel like they'll have it ready way before that. It's pretty good. I think it'll take about four or five weeks. Like you like that one? Did not think I'd like it because I'm on ever on peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I like peanut butter every once in a while when the blue moon rises and the tide like is straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, good. Now that the pictures are done, I think, mm -hmm. I hope. You buy the barcode, get the ISBN, and the, um, the Library of Congress number. Send all the pictures. I have to send 11 pictures to Jory so that he can clean them up. Judge them up. Buff this, whatever, whiten something else, whatever he has to do. Fix my snaggle tooth. And then uh, we'll send the three, four pictures, one for the back of the book. These cookies, I have them like in a row, Josh, and that's going to go on the back of the book. And... Um, what else? Send send Joshua the pictures that's for the front and the back of the book so he can build a book or thank God I have these kids. I would have to be paying people money to do all this for me because I don't know how to do none of that. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Money. I'd have to spend money on this, but you're my kids, so no. <laughs> I'll pay them, <clears throat> but if I was going to pay somebody $300 to do this, I'd give a 100 <laughs> I'm mad at you. What's the point mm -hmm. of using us if you got to pay the full price? Mm -hmm. So, after that, it's just a matter of proofreading. Yeah. So, know. you're going to see more mukbangs and cooking videos for a while. Yeah, a lot easier to produce. A lot easier to produce. Lot easy, I mean, I can edit them now that I screenshot the picture behind me. And um, I'm going to have to proofread these 111. I'm going to taste it. You know what I mean? I didn't taste it. I didn't taste it. Really? Mm hmm. Even the day you made it, you didn't taste mm -hmm. it? Hmm. It's good. I wanted to eat that lemon cake. Mmm. Yeah, that's a good choice. I'm on the my sweets. Okay. What is a snickerdoodle? You know what that is? I know the name, and I know it's like in things as parody. Is it a cookie? I think so. I'm gonna go check. It is really good. Yeah, it's it's simple. You remember what the secret ingredient is, right? Don't say. 420. What do you think we feel so good right now? My joints feel great. <laughs> I took out half of that, so I'm not gonna be around for too long. 
Let me ask you about the two issues. Yeah. Oh. Can I? Don't give no clue. I'm trying to see how you give a clue, but not make it too obvious. Um. This is the one with that in it. Yeah. <laughs> don't even touch it. Okay, I'll give you a clue. <laughs> I'll give you. What's wrong? I knew you saw the clue. Yeah, I was gonna use that as a clue, but it might be too obvious. Cause what else could you use as a thing? Yeah. <laughs> no, no clue. No clue. No clue. It's too. Easy. It's too obvious. Mhm. Mm Somebody will get it. Did you come up with that? No, it was a recipe, huh. and I just didn't believe it. So I'm like, I'm gonna try this, and it came out good. Don't even see it. It's like somebody told me that their wife makes the best chili, right? Yeah. And he goes, "There's a secret ingredient." Well, you know, I love stuff with secret ingredient. And I say, what? What is the secret ingredient? Crack. No. <laughs> the wife throws a couple ginger snap cookies in the chili. Now you know your girl gonna try that. That is some. That is something cool. See, that's what most of people talk about. That's not authentic recipe. Mm -hmm. Look at chili. There is no chili. It's people coming up. That's why I like chili cookouts. It's like, what weird thing you come up with today, mm -hmm. you know? So we put watermelon in our chili, that makes it sweet. We put the heat and got sweet, sweet hot watermelon chili. It's like, okay, I'll mm -hmm. try that. Mm -hmm. What's that about, you know? Well, I love ginger snap cookies. I do like, I, I like yours. So if they say throw some of that in a bowl of chili, your girl gonna try that. And okay? this, is, this isn't me going, oh, it's my mom. No, I hate ginger snaps, but I like hers. Mm-hmm. Just because I like ginger. I told you why already. We don't put no cloves in it. Mm-hmm. The recipe called for cloves and I don't put it in. What's the cloves? Plant? It's a spice. Alright. It smells like the thing the dentist rubs on your gum before he jabs you with a needle. I don't know. I've never had any teeth surgeries. Why he gotta show off and just bust our bubbles like that? Mm. <laughs> He's never ever ever had a cavity. Never ever 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 ever. Not even before he changed his real teeth when he was a little baby. Nope. Okay, I got my grandma's teeth. Mm-hmm. Jory. Can you get us the cloves from the cabinet so Joshua could smell it? It's in a tin. It's a spice. Good luck. It's in a tin on that little back shelf. See the white shelf that has all the little tins? Mm -hmm. Or it might be in a little plastic round thing. It said cloves. We're running out of time. We're running out of time. I want you to smell it. Have you seen her spice thing? <laughs> I know. Nothing's in a word. Thank you, Jory. Thank you, John. Okay, Joshua. Get a good whiff. Grounded cloves. Oh, I don't like that. I mean, it's not offensive, but it does feel very, um... To put that in the cookie? It feels, uh, chemically. Chemi chemically. Like, like. It, it's like a medicine. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. That's just like what the dentist put on your gum. Oh, I would have. When they rub on the gum, they make it numb, then they jab you with the needle. Don't know. And you know when you have a <laughs> toothache, you use cloves on the toothache, and it takes the pain away. This guy knows all them cavities over there on Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> they all gave him the finger just Good thing now. we don't have the back camera <laughs> filming the front camera for the behind the scenes episode yet Sandra thank you for the tripod this, these are the Sandra tripod yeah, it's a, it these is are, a nice tripod it's a tough little tripod the lights these are from are, Porsche these are, these are lovely things these are Porsche. the Porsche lights you can't see them but they're lovely anybody give me anything I name it after them the Porsche lights What's the, what's the, the Sandra tripod. The San, it should be the Sandra pod. Mm -hmm. The Sandra pod. It's easier to say Sandra pod. Porsche and, lights works. That works. And then the stuff the kids gave me is awesome. What Joe gave me the knife is awesome. She only use and then everybody else gave money. Some people gave starting at five bucks, Pay 15, 20, 50. <laughs> I think within that range. Five, yeah. 10, 15, 20, 50. 40, 45. Between five and 50. Five and 50, yep. That's what people gave. And it was amazing because I have enough to buy that camera. All I need to do is put the tax on it. <sighs> tax, tax and electronics. Oh man. wait, wait, wait! I might have the tax off of the fifty dollars that I got from Maple. Oh. Remember the fifty dollars I have on Amazon? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. I was like, yes, and thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Jasmine, for the gift card. I traded it for money from Jory. <laughs> There was stuff Jory wanted, stickers and emblems and a whole bunch of niceties. I'm like, can I have the cash? And he goes, okay, cool, mom. I was like, yes, yes. So everybody was happy. You know, they have machines where you could turn in gift cards. They keep a percentage of the money, but you can get it um, as like a. You might want to look a percentage. Oh. 
This said that the, I just I was curious one day because I had to give Carter something I didn't want, so I was looking at stuff. He gave me the whole money, so shh. Bro, I was in a tie. Bro, I was in a tie. Open up boxes up next to my water cup. I turn it towards me. Mm -hmm. I have another birthday gift. It's never ending. Thank you, Jesus. What'd we get? What'd we get? Sit on somewhere. <laughs> sit on somewhere. Uh, I can't sit down. My stomach's too full. Okay. I really like the bag. Yeah. Let's see the card. That should be a separate hand. I think it's just the Amazon um. Please. Enjoy your gift from Esther. This is from Esther. Yes. Thank you, Esther's. Sever hand. What's the green gonna look like on the green screen, huh, Jory? Oh. <laughs> the bag is super duper green. Yes. Very green. Green with some green dots. Oh, whatever image you have. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what is it? Britney Spears. Oh. And the Britney Spears. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you, Esther. Why are you making me look bad, Esther? This thing is like. I don't think they make it no more, and I put it on my, my Amazon wish list on a lark, on a lark. Jordan didn't know Esther was getting me anything. No way, dude. Ooh, it's a big bottle, too. It's a big bottle. Ooh, Damn. It's, it's bigger than the one you had, yeah. Let me see if I'm in the whole smell. I can smell it from here. Oh, yes. She's sensitive with smells, so you know it's good if she likes it. I like the way that smells. No, isn't it? Shut up, Jory. <laughs> uh, they have to like bring their deodorant for me to smell it. All this stuff. <laughs> no, I'm like that with deodorant too, though. I like only the green. I don't like the deodorant. way the thing, the palm olive, the blue palm olive smell. I like the white or the green. Then oh, thank you. I don't want to smell because I might have to just snap in my teeth. I know. I'm so pretty. Catch. <laughs> Jory, please tell her thank you. He's already doing it. The screw up? Just pop up. Look. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I better leave that alone before I break this. Joshua likes the way things are packaged. The books are here. Take a look at the book cover, guys. So let's take a look at the inside. 